Hey everybody, Yari G just sent over her brand new Project Influencer collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics. Looks like we've got the Faves palette and the Yari G MUA Lip Trio. So if you'd like to know more about the Yari G Ofra Cosmetics Project Influencer collaboration, stay exactly where you are because we're getting into it right now. <laughs> I was so excited when Yari G messaged me saying she was creating a Project Influencer collab and wanted to send it to me. I love her makeup style, I love her work in general, so I was really excited to see what kind of color story we got. She did this really grungy, smoky look, oh it was so gorgeous, and it's gonna be perfect for New Year's. I cannot wait to wear it for New Year's. The description for her faves palette says, let's party with influencer Yari G MUA's custom curated faves. This mini full face palette comes packed with smoky shadows, hard hitting highlights, and bold blushes. Compact and refillable, the versatility of this palette is endless. Then the lip trio says, the magic happens when this hybrid lippy meets your lips with flexible color that goes on creamy like a gloss with the pigment of a liquid lipstick. Long wearing and with a hint of shine, flexi slick glides onto lips with an oversized applicator that fills in texture and leaves lips that are velvety smooth and never sticky. Vitamin E moisturizes to keep lips feeling healthy and appetizing notes of vanilla make this comfort first formula perfect on its own or paired with a lipstick or liner. So this is not their standard matte liquid lipstick. I haven't tried any other lip formula from Ofra Cosmetics aside from the matte liquid lipstick. In fact, I didn't know they had other lip formulas. So this is exciting. Then with the RG MUA Faves palette, looks like we have eight eyeshadow shades, two blush shades, and one highlighter shade. Of course, you can interchange those however you want, but that's kind of the way it's set up. And there's a cream blush in here. This is the first time I've ever seen a cream blush from Ofra in one of these faves palettes or influencer collaboration palettes it's always powder blushes so this is also super exciting i'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in real quick and we're gonna swatch all 11 shades Ooh, first we have the tried and true highlighter rodeo drive oh buttercup dream catcher Truffle. Exquisite. Blue jeans. Compassion. Triple black. The cream blush is the shade All Yours. Wow, that is super pigmented. Glisten. Oh my gosh. Where has this highlighter been all my life? And the last shade, Powder Blush, Warrior. And there's all 11 shades of the Yari GMUA Faves palette from Ofra Cosmetics. So I think to start out, we should grab the transition shade Truffle right here and just put that all over the crease. I might leave the inner portion of the crease clear so I can put in one of these lighter shades like Dreamcatcher or Buttercup, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So we're gonna sort of play it by ear, like we do with every single other one of my looks. We're only three dips into this eyeshadow so far, and I can tell you this is definitely 
and Ofra eyeshadow. Three Dips has gotten it built up completely to the shade that's in the palette, but it actually took that much to build it up to that level of pigment. And that lets me know that you can make it just a light wash of color if you want to and just build everything up really, really slowly and keep it light and airy and supernatural looking. Or you can build it up like this and get it to look like what it is in the pan. That's what I love about the Ofra formula. It is a true eyeshadow formula. Oh yeah, I forgot about leaving the inner corner. Dang. Well, okay, so... <laughs> Instead, I'm just gonna leave the inner corner covered slightly in the shade Truffle instead of building up a bunch of pigment there. That way, if I wanna add another shade, I still can. Now we're just gonna take this brush over those pretty harsh edges and blend those out just so they're not so intense and so exact. I want it to be a little more smoky than that. Now for the inner corner, I am gonna use the shade Dreamcatcher. I was just debating whether I wanted to use Dreamcatcher or Buttercup, so it was really just between pink or yellow. Ooh, that's cute. It's more of like a peachy coral than it is a pink. That is so fun. I love that because that could be used more with the pink side of things or more with the orangey side of things if you wanted to go more yellow. I don't know if it's the way the shade was made or if it's just this specific color, but it looks like that's glowing on my skin. It's very ethereal. For this next step, I've been thinking about this for a hot minute trying to decide if I was going to do it or not, and I think I am. We are going to now take the shade Compassion and deepen up the crease a little bit, but all the way across. So from inner corner to outer corner, and this will sort of start to help the pink and the brown come together a little bit and become a little more unified and cohesive. I really think I'm gonna love this color. Ooh, mixing with that brown and the red softening a little bit makes it more of like a smoky maroon instead of like a super poppin', vibrant, deep, dark, bold maroon like that is. I just love the versatility of these formulas. That's a pretty good shape for today's look. I think I'll keep it. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever done my wing low like that. Cut off so short. I don't know. There's something different about it. Maybe it's because I didn't pull it to here, you know? And usually my wings are pretty dramatically drawn out. That's, that's nice though. I like that. You have no idea how long it just took me to get these done. Using the same brush that I just used in Compassion, I am now going to take Triple Black. You heard it right, I'm using the black shade, but I'm gonna use it very sparingly. Hence why I'm using the same brush that I used in Compassion. That way the black and the red will sort of mix together a little bit as I'm applying it. So it will sort of lessen the intensity of the black so I can build it up slowly and watch it be built as I apply it. And all I'm going to do is make it that deepest shade right in the crease and pull it all the way from outer corner to inner corner. That way when I go in and cut the crease, it will be as dramatic as possible. Now that the black is applied with the same brush and the shade Compassion again, I'm just gonna go around those outer edges of the black just to make sure that the blend is smooth and we haven't lost too much of the maroon. The red is reapplied and blended into the black and I feel like we have this sultry, smoky, sexy, I wanna say like vampiric wing shape and I'm kinda loving it. But now I'm gonna pop off camera and cut the crease because. I'm ready to go in with a shimmer. We need some shimmer, so I'll be right back. Got the crease cut, or at least one of them, and you know what time it is. It's shimmer time! But first, we need to take the tiniest bit of triple black and go ahead and fill in this outer corner. We're about to have that outer V just a big white blank mess, weren't we? Wow, but <laughs> using that black by itself, that is a really black black. I see why they call it triple black. Now we're gonna go in with blue jeans. Oh yeah, I've been so excited to use this since I opened this palette. It's just too beautiful. And she's gonna fill this whole lid for us. Oh my gosh. Wow, what a beautiful blue. Well, I can clearly see why this shade is called blue jeans. It looks like I put a pair of Levi's on my eyelid. Some shiny Levi's. I'm in love with that blue. You guys, I am loving this so far. Of course, everything's pigmented and blendable and the quality is impeccable. I mean, it's Ofra. Did we expect anything different? But the color story is so 
fun. I don't think I've ever made anything exactly like this. And frankly, I don't think I've had the color story available to me to make something like this, or at least not in one palette. But now we need to try out the blush and the highlighters, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of my face makeup off camera, then we'll come back and use those products. So give me just a moment and I will be right back. Just finished putting on all of my cream complexion products except cream blush. So now let's go into the shade All Yours. That's such a gorgeous tone of blush. It looks a little deep though. That might be a little too deep for me, but it's almost an exact match to that eyeshadow color. So I hope it blends in and looks just stunning because that does so far. Oh good, it does match the eyeshadow. That's really all I wanted in life. You know, this is kind of the perfect tone of blush to give you that like natural, rosy, I just came in from the cold kind of flush. So this is the perfect blush for winter time. Wow, that looks really good. But should I add more? You know what? A, we can never have enough blush. B, it's a cream blush. So once I put all my powder on and everything, it'll kind of dissipate some of the pigmentation anyway. So let's go ahead and add some more. I wanted intense blush, I got intense blush. I'm gonna go off camera, finish off the rest of the complexion products, except the powder blush and highlighter, and we'll come back and use that together. All of the makeup is now done, except blush, highlighter, and lipstick. So how about we get some color on this face using the shade Warrior. This is such a bright, bold blush. I'm sort of terrified to put it all over my face. So I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand first, diffuse some of the color into the bristles of the brush, then start patting it onto the cheeks. Ooh, okay, so it is bright. Right? Like a rosy, corally kind of shade, but it's still super cute. That color goes perfectly with this blue. They complement each other very well. Luckily, it works with that cream maroony blush too. They stack well together, and I was kind of afraid of that because that cream blush has a bunch of pigment. Not to mention the fact that I added you know, like two extra layers. And I was afraid that the corally tone of this blush and the maroony tone of the other blush just weren't gonna work well together, but they do. And I am so glad I used a blue on the eye because it's making this blush pop even more and it's so much fun. So the blush is perfect. Now we gotta see if the highlighter is. And since I know and love Rodeo Drive, we're gonna skip it this time and just use the shade Glisten here in the center. It looks so intense. If it's as intense as Rodeo Drive, we are in for a treat because it's white. <laughs> Rodeo Drive is sort of your like champagne-y golden natural looking shade and it's crazy intense. Let's see. Glisten, are you intense too? I'm so excited. I hope it's way overbearing. Oh, oh it is. It's definitely an Ofra highlighter. Ooh, oh my gosh. I love that so much. Ah, I love it so, so, so much. It's so pretty. I do not trust myself with that brush and going down the bridge of my nose. So we're gonna take my finger instead and just slide right down the center. Yes! Maybe now I can sort of buff it out a little bit? It did! Oh, it's perfect! Since I'm trying to find all the places physically possible to put this highlighter, let's go ahead and just put some on the inner corner and the brow bone as well. Oh my goodness. Um, so this is kind of a flaky glittery shade, just so you're aware. If you have powder on your face and you go to put this on, you're probably gonna get the powder in a lot of other places too, unless you put it on while your base is tacky still, or with a finger application instead of a brush application. I didn't think about the fact that it was a glittery highlight. Oh, hey, but the glitter just kind of brushed away. Good news. Okay, we are in good shape. Okay, let's see how she looks on the brow bone. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh yes. I cannot wait to use this for holiday looks, like Christmas looks. I wonder if it was a holiday release. I mean, it is called Glisten, but man, it is so pretty. It looks like snowflakes or like ice, or like snowflakey ice. Now for the inner corner, I am going to spray the brush just a little bit. That's the only place I care about getting it everywhere. I don't want it to fall straight down and then end up with like glitter tear lines running down my face. That is so cute. This is one of those highlighters that you can literally highlight anything with because the tone can pair with anything. Okay, I'm gonna spray my face with some setting spray, get everything set in place so it's not gonna budge or move. And then we're gonna try out these flexi slicks. 
Complexion is set in place, now the lips. We've got three shades of the Flexi Sticks, Fuzzy, Velour, and Stretch from left to right. And surprisingly, the formula of these is super, super thick. I thought it was gonna be like a gloss, but it's really more like a glossy cream. So like a liquid lipstick that is glossy. That sort of vibe. But which one today? We got the pinky nude, seems like it's gonna be the best fit, but that kind of maroony, mauvey, purpley shade would go really well with the outer edge of this crease. Ooh. Let's see. You know, that's actually kind of my lips, but better. Let's see what the pinky nude looks like. Oh, that's tough. Pinky nude or deeper pinky maroon? I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna start with the shade Velour. That feels so weird. Not like bad weird, just I'm not used to it weird. It's just so creamy. It feels really comfortable. It almost feels like a bullet lipstick, really. This is hands down one of the most comfortable lip products I have ever used. It just feels so good on the lips and it went on really easily. And now that it's completely applied, I'm gonna take off the center and go in with Stretch. <laughs> I am so glad I did that. That looks so good. Wow. And it makes my lips look like three times bigger. So Velour and Stretch in conjunction with each other on one lip is the way to go. Ooh, and you know what? Like a dark mahogany lip liner with this? Oh. Your lips would look so juicy. Yari, you killed this. Like this is an awesome collection. Not only the Faves palette, but also the lipstick trio, specifically Velour and Stretch. Those are my faves. You guys, this is the finished look using the Yari G MUA Project Influencer collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics. What do you guys think? I am obsessed with this look. I mean, we already knew the Ofra Cosmetics formula is amazing, but this color story is really fun. Considering you only have eight shades, the fact that I could get something contrasting like this and still have shades left over that I didn't use is pretty impressive to me. Normally, I like to go into like all the shades when I'm doing an eyeshadow palette review, but once I looked at the palette and I saw what was available, it was pretty clear to me what I wanted. I had to use the blue jean shade and I had to use compassion against it so that it would make each one stand out a little bit more and I'm so glad I did. But I know that I can still go into the same palette and get a very nude wearable look if I wanted to with a super intense Rodeo Drive highlight, which who doesn't love? <laughs> I could do like Yari G did and just use the blacks and keep it very, very smoky, very sultry looking. I could use just the pink and the yellow and glisten and make it more pastel. I could use just the pinks and glisten and keep it really bright and poppin' for springtime. There's just a lot of possibilities with this palette, even though there's only eight eyeshadow shades. Or 11 pans, you might say. Anyway, guys, that's enough from me for this video. I'd like to thank Yari G for sending over her Ofra collection. Thank you so much. I'm so happy I got to show you guys what it looked like and what look we created using the palette. I'll make sure I have the collection linked down below in the description so you can try it out for yourself if you you'd like. I'd also like to thank you guys so, so much for coming and hanging out with me for this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up just to let me know that you did. Also, if you like this look and you want to see more looks like them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. My username is the same for everything. It's just Christopher JMUA. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>